our main event. Let's hear these first. You will referee for the mouth. Fernando Bartella. Your judges, Guillermo Bravo, Felipe Ior, and Alison Ponte. To the team of Brazil and the millions watching around the world. Utenio, uma pergunta, e uma pergunta apenas. Vocês estão prontos? The feet are first for him. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist and world jiu-jitsu champion. He has a professional record of 10 wins and 2 losses. He said, 1.8 cent Sydney Tiles that weighs 92 kilograms. Fighting out of the team of Brazil by way of Manaus. Representing Evolution Tile. Give it up for the pride of Brazil. Clemson De Acru. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist with a perfect record of six wins and no losses. He stands 1.90 millimeters tall and weighs already 92.5 kilos. Fighting at a Pittsburgh, Germany and representing Imperial Fight. Give it up for Timo Danny Twist. Your referee, Fernando Cortella, will give the fighter instruction. Respect the rules and obey my commands. Touch the gloves. Talk as luvas. Let's do this. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's do this. Well, it's time to battle. Here comes Frankie Edgar. It's main event time. It's the big time. Farias taking out Foist. Are you ready? I'm ready, man. Got the big boys in there ready to throw that heat. Title on the line, this is a five round affair. Well, it could go five rounds. I don't think either one of us are envisioning five rounds, but listen, strange things have happened. You never know. Both what? men like to finish their fights, and here we go in the all black. It is Farias in the black with the white trim. Foist. This is a big test for Foist. You know, this guy is, he's had six fights, he's been undefeated, but has he faced the same type of competition that Farias has? Right, I mean, there's just, you, you wonder uh, the depth of competition up in up in Europe and Germany where he's been fighting as compared to here in Brazil. Oh, oh for Rios. Right to the double leg. Watch out. Can Foyce stay upright? Doing a good job. Doing a good job using that overhook. Great job. Big Foyce. pick up and a slam. Up and down. He is in the half guard. Half, he's pushing. Good. Bad spot for Timo Foist. Timo looked like he's just trying to hold on down there. That could be dangerous if a brew gets some space. <laughs> the half guard, the scramble, great scramble in there. He's got that butterfly guard. We're going to see the real wherewithal here of Timo Foist. Abru pushes the half guard here. Timo still has that butterfly hook on the one side. Now he's cleared it. Abru cleared that butterfly hook. Now he's looking to get some chest on chest pressure here. A lot of submissions when you take a look at the record of Klitsen Farias. He's pushing forward here. Here he goes. Push the three there he is, now he's in full mount. He is putting a lot of pressure on Timo. Timo, Timo. Using, the, using the fence, pushing off. He's got some really long legs to help him out here. Yes, he does. There you go, Bru lowered lower the mount a little bit to kind of negate him from reaching back with those legs like that. Just trying to use that explosiveness that you to get out from underneath, Clinton. Easier said than done. He's going to turn. Bar, Goodbye. Oh, nope, no. Nope. Great. Not yet. Not yet. Oh, he looked like he had that thing in a real it, bad spot. I, I think it was above the elbow. 
But now he's still in a bad position here. And, and Farias is a choke artist. The guy wins by choke more often than not. He's got to be careful with getting too high here and getting bucked off. He's got to lower his butt kind of to the small of Timo's back to kind of flatten him out here. This is kind of what we expected. I mean, we, we knew how good Klitsa was on the ground, how good of a grappler he was. We didn't know it would happen this quickly. Yeah, you imagine, you know, with as many submission wins as he has, that he was going to look to take this fight to the ground. Got to try to flatten Timo out here. Team was a big boy, man. Long, tough, tough to get to get completely flat. See, I can see a brew maybe falling off for an armbar here. Wow, he is up really high right now. He but he has those, but he has those hooks in pretty deep. Oh, now he's going. Uh -oh. Now he's got That's the choke. Not. Watch out! He's got to get under the chin though. Oh, and he's got that vice grip. Is he underneath? No. Not yet, not yet. Boyd's doing a fantastic job. Boyd's doing job a good job defense. of going high, right? You either want to be low or high. You don't want to be in that sweet spot for, for a there brew. There he goes. There he goes, using that momentum, and he's on top. Now he's on top. Let's see if we can do it with this top position. Wow, great showing there by Timo Foyce. That was impressive. A bad spot and ended up reversing it. Looks like he doesn't want to do much here. He's just trying to hold on here. Ooh, big elbow, big oh, elbow. Lord. Another big elbow. Now in the guard. This Timo Foyce, oh how things have changed. Oh, and he grabbed hold of that arm. But Foyce gets out of trouble again. Now he's going for the leg. Now he's going foot lock. That's dangerous. Wow, man. What a Use that foot lock as a reversal. Very short time, man. Yeah. Attacking, attacking, attacking is Farias. But great resilience by Timo Boyce. Yeah, gr great uh, great tactic by Bro. Great resilience by Timo. Good fight. It's still Yeah, very good fight. Main event time here. And Brave Ace, Simon speaks alongside Frankie, the answer, Edgar, as we go into round two of a possible five-round fight. I, I'm impressed by Timo Foyce and, and kind of answering some questions. You know, how durable is he? If he gets into trouble, how well is he going to do? And I think he's showing us that he's the real deal. Yeah, no, he's definitely a fighter at heart. Um, you know, you just got to be careful in these positions. He got put in a bad position from, from uh, uh, it, he's putting bad predicaments on the ground on both top and bottom, so he needs to be careful. And there we go, the break is up, and we're going to round number two. Light heavyweight championship on the line. Brave A, the rise of the champions. We've already crowned one champion in Carlston Harris. Now it's going to be Foist or Farias. So that has to give Timo Foyce some confidence. Coming out of there to be in trouble, to get out, out of danger like that, that just kind of has to give you that boost of morale, boost of confidence. Yeah. You can hang in there and get the submission guy like that. Yeah, absolutely, especially in a bad spot and you find a way out. But I don't think he's going to want to get hit the ground with a, with a brew the rest of this fight. He's got to be careful. He wants to definitely put some pressure on him with strikes, but doesn't want to give up a takedown in the process. Maria snaps that big head kick out there. Doesn't quite get all of it. You know, it's kind of nice when uh, you're, you're, you're a dominant jiu-jitsu guy and you know the guy doesn't want to go on the ground with you. You could kind of get a little uh, a little crazy and a little creative with your, with your striking because you know the guy's not going to catch your kick and try to bring you down anyway. Kind of have a feeling this something big's about to happen between these two. Trying to get that timing down. Nice jab by Fuge. Making a 
big trip here, big opportunity. And coming all the way from Germany, it's a big flight. Nice left hand, left straight from a brew. Up top with the... Charging forward. Oh, Timo Foist. Now Klitsen, he's gonna try for it, he's gonna try to send it up. No, he doesn't go for the takedown. He's gonna stand. I think he heard him with that right hand. I think he saw that he heard him and he was trying to capitalize on that. He walks right into that left. Low blow there, unintentional. Has to go to a neutral corner. Unintentional low blow there by Clinton Barrios. Now he's gonna take a little bit of time, get a little bit of rest here, regroup. You see that nose leaking a little bit of blood. Timo Foyce, God forbid he breaks it. Yeah. <laughs> And we're back to action. Still in round two. I think Abreu a, a has got some confidence in his striking. Oh, oh nice big, left big right, right hand. Wow. Three Three strike tough. Keep coming. He's a youngin. Yeah, it's that still a Seems like he's waiting a little too much. That's gonna get him in trouble. 21-year-old Timo Feucht, what a win it would be to take home a title back to Germany. Oh, wow. oh big swings, Jeez. big swings from both guys. Bombs being thrown, if one of them lands, could be Kurt. Timo starting to wear a little bit on his face. Oh, nice right hand by Timo. Now him look initiating a clinch. Klitsen looking over at his corner. Looking to get some instructions from his crew for him to lose out. Nice suplex. This could be the beginning and the end here. Full mount. Full mount. He's probably going to use the cage. He's got to try to walk his feet off. The I think it circle his feet off the cage would probably be Voice beneficial good, for him. Timo's gonna keep bucking off that cage. He is bearing down as Klitsen. Oh man, and some good shots from there. Timo can't just cover, they're gonna stop this. If he has to move, if he doesn't move, it's gonna be trouble. Like you said, he needs to bounce off that cage. So he's, trying he to set up the arm, he's trying to set up the arm bar here. Oh, God. Nice, nice. got it. There Boom. it is. Too much torque on that arm. Beautifully and we done. Have a champion, Clemson, Farias, Diabreu. He's going to embrace Vanderlei Silva. A new light heavyweight champion to a former light heavyweight champion. You got to love it. Yeah, uh, uh, unbelievably done. Knew what he had to do, went out there and got it done. Yes, indeed. A new champion crown will be back. We'll be back here for Kirichiba. All right, welcome back. Time to go back to the official decision. Carlos Kramer. Silva's gonna help him. What an honor for Clinton Barrios. Tia Brayan, a new champion has been crowned. Frankie, uh, awesome, you, uh, awesome way to end the night. Uh, a great story for him, bro. Came, came to Curitiba to, you know, achieve his dream of being a world champion. Gets to do it right in his home, uh, in this All town. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are gonna wrap it up. Thank you so much for joining us here for Brave. Hey,
rise of the champions. For Frank Yeager, I'm Cyrus Feast. We'll see you next time for Brave Combat Federation.